Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and ooh, I have a Timu haul for you. And I also have a little iced latte. I bought a Nespresso maker off of Facebook Marketplace. I lucked out, the lady had it and they only used it one time. Mm. So good. And if you're looking for sugar-free milk, Fairlife has very good macros. Just throwing it out there. Okay, but anyway, we're doing a uh, Timu haul today. I have three to do today, so they'll be in the same shirt. And, what you doing, Alex? I'm cleaning house. I'm on vacation starting today. Um, there is a discount code in the description box below, which will get you 30% off your first order. These items were sent to me. However, the opinions are my own. So let's get started. This one is clothes and craft, I feel like. Oh, you're okay, Alex. I ordered this silicone mold set and it's gonna make a little pot, like a little silicone pot. I don't know, it looked cute. I thought maybe for orts or something. The only thing with these silicone molds and cats is the fur sticks. So it'll be a little, it'll be little. And the prices, as you can see, are on there. And then I bought a larger one. Same concept, Ooh, more fur. Also glitter sticks to this stuff. So you fill it from the bottom and you fill the lid and then you have a little pot with a lid. So I grabbed these two sizes. I thought it would be fun. So I think I might do some resin today. Um, to go with the resin, I got all these little, they're, um, I think they're alcohol ink or some type of pigment. It doesn't really say, but like you get this little bottle and a little bit goes a long way with resin and you get 24 different colors. This is black, which I do need. And so, yeah, you just drop a couple in. I even think I have some white pigment. Yep, white pigment. So it's liquid like mica powder, but it's liquid. You can do different things with that, but you get all these colors and they're fun colors too. So I grabbed that to try. Oh, I picked up this. I have a weird body shape. I mean, I say it's weird, I don't know, but I have, I carry all my weight in my front and I don't have a butt. So all of my jeans anymore are sliding off my butt. So this, you hook it into your jeans, into uh, your belt loops, and it kind of just tightens it up. We're gonna see if it works. And then you can tighten it here, so if you want it like, smaller tight loop or belt loops, but you can adjust it to fit your specific pants. And we're gonna try this. So you tighten it and then it kind of pulls them in so they don't slide down my booty. And that might, that might be a life saver for me. I grabbed some little tiny tweezers. These are also for resin art. I wanted the offset tweezer so that I can pick up pieces of glitter or whatever. And look how po pointy your tip is. And they come with a little protector that holds them closed. And I thought I need something when I wanna put glitter or little embeds in the resin. So I grab that. Um, I have, let me get the, I will do the clothing last. How about that? Although, I have one more thing to show on this haul, so give me a second. I'll get it in a minute. Um, I grabbed some more. This was a lot, ha pretty resin heavy. This is a little cat in a moon. So when it's made, the cat, you can make whatever color you want and it goes into the tail and then you outline the moon and it makes like a dangling. It was cute, especially for Halloween. We'll make a black cap, of course. So I grabbed that and it will be a pendant. Now, I thought I ordered Ohio, but they sent me Texas. Um, so I have since gone on and ordered Ohio. That's what I need. Um, but it's just a little state resin mold and then you can make like keychains or whatever. 
So I grabbed that and these are good. I use them fairly regularly and I've seen the same ones at other stores. And then of course, I got the coffee cup, the to-go coffee cup mold. This will make two keychains. And that's kind of a must, right? You are okay. I, I don't know what his problem is today, but there's something going on in that cat's life. Um, I picked up a zipper pull or a keychain, and it is a Monstera leaf. I like these because they work really good as a zipper pull. I mean, it can be a keychain as well. You could just hook this on a keychain. It's just a little clip, but I love them for zipper pulls. I think you're gonna see a lot of these in the future hauls, a lot of different planty stuff. I know, baby. Um, for my pottery class, I needed some more bones and more flexible to make shapes and designs and stuff. And I just grabbed a three pack of these. They're a thick rubber, but they're pretty flexible. So when you're spinning your rubber or spinning your uh, pots on the pottery wheel, you can use these to help shape and make like circles and whatnot. So I didn't have these. And my the class that I take, they have tools there, but a lot of times we're sharing and there's six of us at a time. So it's just easier. And if I can get my hands on them, why not? Um, okay. So I told you about the beach bags I was making, but then I saw these and I said, well, I need this one for sure for my swim bag or the beach bag. Cause I'm going to the beach soon. So I got different ones for everybody, but I got this for me and I'm using it in my beach bag so I can put like money and cards in here, but in here my phone and anything I don't want to get wet at the beach, right? So you put it in here and then this can go in my swim bag, sunblock, phone. I can even get my phone probably in this front one. Oh, I zipped it. Maybe I can get my phone in here whatever money phone credit cards just things i don't want to get wet at the beach so i grabbed this to go into my beach slash pool bag that one's for me and then i got this for i think my cousin or her daughter they can decide but it's just a flat bottom bag and this one says beach survival kit i also got them those dollar tree ones but i kind of like these better i don't know why this one came in a two pack so I do have two of these if they both want this bag. And then I also got this bag, which again, is good for the beach. It's solid plastic. And it says, some girls are just born with the beach in their soul. And I think this one's for Addie, my little cousin. She's cute. Um, and this one is solid plastic, but again, just a little bag to put your stuff in to take to the beach to keep the water and sand out of your stuff, electronics, sunglasses, things of that nature. Okay. Now let me pause for one second and I need to go grab something. Okay. I'm back. I got another Stanley dupe cup. Um, you know, it's the same size as a Stanley. This one even has the silicone so your straw doesn't pop out and it doesn't leak. We have the pink color here. It's great. The only thing I will say that is not the quality of a Stanley is that this is sweating. And as a double walled cup, it should not be sweating. But there you have it, it's sweating. But so I grabbed another Stanley dupe and it's fine. It's just, I mean, it's literally dripping water on me and that drives me nuts. Okay, so that is everything except for clothing stuff. I got this headband, which I really, really like. Um, they had it in all different colors, but for bicycling and I'm learning how to play pickleball. I know, I'm joining the pickleball revolution. Um, I grabbed this just to keep my curls a little tamed while exercising. Um, it is Lycra. You know, it, it holds, stays on. That's what's important to me. And like I said, they came in all different colors. So I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed these pair of shorts, which I love. 
I love them. I think these are totally adorable. Um, especially to wear out like at the beach or something, you know, they're just a little dressier than like an athletic short for the summertime. So I definitely can't wait to wear these. They are a polyester. And it says, I went with a three extra large because I wanted a little more room and they actually worked out perfect for me. And I wear it like a 16, but I wanted a little more zhuzh and I knew it had this elastic waist. So it worked out per perfectly fine. Um, I grabbed a couple more of these jumpers. This one, I don't hate it. It's super cute. It's pink. It has the pockets. It's a weird, again, with the polyester, it's a weird heavy polyester um but it's cute i think i went like with a 6x on this because i wanted it really big and i got what i wanted so it you've seen these jumpsuits all over the place so i grabbed this one in pink oh i should put my stuff in the bag i'm trying to be tidy here and then i got this one in green this one does not work for me and it's only because I have a long torso. So I got this in a 4X, so I did upsize this one as well. It fits fine. It is a kind of bizarre fabric again. It's just not t-shirt material. It's no stretch. And that's the issue for me because I have a long torso. It doesn't work because it just goes up my butt. Uh, but this one is cute. It has the zipper in the back like the, I think the Free People one. And it's, it works. I mean, there's a real pocket in here. I don't know why. It's on your back, but whatever. So yeah, it works. It doesn't, and it does not have adjustable straps. So it's not going to work for me, but it's not a condition of the outfit. It is my body. I have a long torso. Um, I also got these shorts. Again, I believe I upsized. And these are adorable. They do need a good iron but I liked the detail at the pocket and they have a nice pocket. They are fake linen, which I don't care. We're fake linen all the time, but they do need a pressing. And then look at that little detail down here. So you get it on the pocket, but you also get this little detail down here. And I just love these type of shorts for summer. They're very comfortable. And if you up a size a little bit, it's not a big deal because the elastic in the waist will help you. Now, true to the linen form, they are very wrinkly. Oh, Alex found his toy. And then the last thing I got is an outfit. It is a t-shirt, but it's an off the shoulder t-shirt. And I actually wore this for 80s day the other day to work and it was perfect. So you got a really big scoop neck. It's off the shoulder, sort of cropped length top, right? And it's a very soft, this is definitely a cotton blend, like a cotton polyester blend if I had to guess. That's the one thing is tags are kind of iffy. I went with a 3X. It is, actually it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So it's not gonna shrink, but it feels soft like cotton. And I love the dandelion on the front. And then this came with a maxi skirt. And here's the maxi skirt. It's just navy blue and white striped. It's really cute. The fabric is a tad shiny and it's too long on me. So I will have to hem it if I wanna wear it, but there's a reason I will not be wearing it. On the back, it's unfortunate. And this is, this is a problem and it's not just with Timu clothing. I find this a lot. It's the, it's the attention to detail when we're mass producing anything. It would not have taken 20 seconds to line up. I mean, and I'm not even faulting the people who make these clothes. They're paid by the piece and the time. But that will make me crazy. I can't. I can't. With them not lined up. So, it's a cute skirt. It's just, it wouldn't work for me. And again, it's not to the quality of the clothing. It's me. It's my so that is everything I got from the Timu haul, my first haul. I'm excited to put this with my pottery stuff. I won't be taking another class until the fall. We're gonna take the summer off and we're gonna do a fall like Halloween haunted, haunted class. I'm gonna drink my iced coffee. 
and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the description box below. The links to all the products are down there and I will talk with you later.